debt ceiling meetings expected to continue this week in Washington. Kayla Tausche joins us with more at this point. Kayla, what are you hearing? Well, Becky, President Biden is expected to bring top congressional leaders back to the White House on Tuesday to discuss the last week of negotiations among staff, which worked through the weekend on key issues to try to bridge the gaps between the two sides. The president asked over the weekend in Delaware if there was a deal. He said he was optimistic. I remain optimistic because I'm a congenital optimist, but I really think there's a desire on their part as well as ours to reach agreement. I think we'll be able to do it. Two sides have been discussing four policy areas put forth by Republicans, but they're still far apart on several of them. For instance, Republicans want a 10-year cap on government spending. Democrats want two, according to sources. As for work requirements for those receiving government aid, well, Biden said he was still waiting to see the Republicans' proposal and that he thinks that uh, introducing those requirements for Medicaid specifically would be too tricky. But the clock is ticking. The president leaves Wednesday morning for a 10-day trip to Asia, and the Senate is planning to leave Thursday until after Memorial Day. Treasury Deputy Secretary Wally Adeyemo asked on CNN yesterday about the need to reach a deal by this week, did not respond to the question about whether there was, in fact, a deadline. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is slated to meet this week with top bank CEOs in Washington. It's part of the Bank Policy Institute's annual meeting, but no doubt the debt ceiling is going to figure prominently in that conversation. And she may have a darker warning about the consequences that await and potentially, Becky, a new deadline for that X date. Wow. It, it seems frivolous and, and trivial, Kayla, but sometimes uh, like a Memorial Day break can force people to do that. Does, does it really come down to that looming time when they'd be leaving Washington can actually sometimes make people, I don't know, they sm smell the stables and they want to go, right? And they, they get it done. It seems, it, it seems crazy that that could be a, uh, a deciding factor or a motivating factor, but it's just, they're, they're people too. And they want, they probably want to leave Washington, be with their family. Possibly, but it also, Joe, depends on just how much remains to be decided at that point. I mean, I think Speaker McCarthy said last week, well, he'd feel really good about where negotiations were if, you know, they had begun those negotiations and had 10 plus hours behind closed doors if this were February. But given that it's, you know, just a matter of weeks before the June 1st X date, you know, he wasn't feeling entirely optimistic that they'd be able to actually go through just the level of detail that would need to be gone through to reach a sort of deal by the end of this month. Now, as we've reported uh, since earlier in the month, you know, there is always this last resort option that if they feel like they're close to a deal and they get down to the 11th hour, then there is the possibility of both sides potentially agreeing to do a short-term extension, possibly through the summer, giving them several months to reach that agreement in tandem with the end of uh, year spending deadline, September 30th. But of course, that would introduce new deadlines, uh, new tricky considerations for both sides. So we'll see what the next couple of weeks bring.